Hello everyone, I'm Mochi. This video will cover the construction of a herbalism grinder for MCMMO, which doubles as a die farm. It will also give you a brief introduction to clock circuits, the only circuit required in this farm. This is a very basic redstone farm which uses a clock circuit in order to have a dispenser dispense bone meal in order to grow flowers on top of grass. This is a dispenser. A dispenser will shoot out one item every time it receives a redstone pulse. Leaving a pulse on will not cause it to dispense more than one item. Many pulses can be chained together in order to dispense many items. Thus, if we wish to use a dispenser continuously, we must build a circuit which continuously sends out redstone pulses. These types of circuits are known as clock circuits. There are many different designs for clock circuits. Here is a simple one. Note that the signal is being passed through the repeaters and is being mirrored on each side, on and off. This can be illustrated using a piston. These simple clock circuits are an important part of larger and more complicated machines. They can power any block that requires redstone power. Notice how the dispenser is dispensing items hands-free. Today, we are only concerned with building a very simple machine, thus we do not need a complicated circuit. Some clock circuits can be toggled on and off using levers. This is a simple example. You can manipulate the timing of the clocks by adding additional states to the circuit using repeaters. Note here, we are using two of three available states. Also, remember that you can manipulate the timing of your circuits by adjusting the delay on your repeaters. These two are the same design, but with different timings on the repeaters. Bone meal can be used on grass in order to instantly grow flowers and tall grass. They can then be harvested simply by breaking them. Servers running the vanilla MCMMO plugin with no altered configurations yield 100 experience per non-player place flower that is harvested. A flower that is grown with bone meal is not player placed, thus they yield 100 experience in herbalism when harvested. This machine is sim simply a simple redstone clock that is connected to a dispenser filled with bone meal. When activated, it will quickly grow flowers and grass. This is the fastest way to acquire herbalism experience, but it is quite costly. It took me roughly three double chests of bones to reach from level 1 to level 1000. It also took about two and a half hours. Because this is a very expensive method of leveling herbalism, it is important to optimize your experience efficiency and to minimize loss. This can be done by modifying your clock circuit. Normally, Minecraft runs at a rate of 20 ticks per second. This can be affected by a number of factors, including server lag. Some servers will manually reduce the number of ticks per second during peak hours in order to prevent the server from lagging or running out of memory. My client is running at exactly 20 ticks per second. You can measure how many ticks per second are on your server by building a chain of repeaters like this. When you activate the repeater chain, watch for how quickly the pulse flows through the chain. Use this as your control. If your chain is powered more quickly, then your server is running at more than 20 ticks per second. I do not expect this to happen very frequently. If your chain is powered more slowly, then it is running at less than 20 ticks per second. On my machine, on the server that I play on, which runs at 20 ticks per second all of the time, I use a 6 tick delay. Notice that every 6 ticks, the piston goes up, and then 6 ticks later, the piston comes down. This means that roughly every 0.6 seconds, one cycle will be complete. 
This is the machine that I built on my survival multiplayer server. I am currently at about 250 milliseconds of latency. You'll notice that I am level 1004 and have 3000 current experience. Let's see how long it takes to get 10,000 experience. You will notice that the clock is intentionally running slowly so that I am not wasting any bone meal. And there we have it. 10,000 experience. A number of very simple enhancements can be built in order to increase the functionality and efficiency of the machine. First off, we have a chest system with hoppers that lead to the dispenser. You can see that if we add bone meal to the top chest, it will begin flowing to the bottom chest and in turn through these hoppers and to the dispenser. Another very simple addition that you can make is adding half slabs to the base of your farm so that all the plants are on eye level and are much easier to break. There are many more additions that you can make. Some of them are worth it, others are not. Use your creativity. It is very simple to create a macro to automate this entire process for you. Here is a macro that I wrote using the auto hotkey programming language in just a couple of seconds. Please only do this if your server allows you to. If you wish to follow a block-by-block -block tutorial, I will now build the machine. However, because this is a very simple machine, if this is your first build, I recommend you do it alone. You will learn a lot. First, let's place the dispenser. Now, let's build our clock by placing a block, a redstone torch, a redstone repeater, change this to three ticks, add our redstone, and now add our lever. Now you can see that the clock can be toggled. Now connect the redstone to the chest, I'm sorry, to the dispenser. If you hear it clicking, that means that it's turning on. Let's go ahead and turn it off for now. Next, let's add some hoppers so that it'll automatically fill with bone meal. If you shift click, on the hoppers, you'll see that they will link together. This is important. Make sure you do it. Now, if you shift click again, you can place the chests on top of the hopper. Place bone meal within your hopper. You will see it beginning to flow away into the dispenser. Now, let's place some grass. Again, you will need to shift click on top of the hoppers in order to place the grass. Place however many gla uh, grass blocks you like. This will be bigger than the ones that I usually use because you cannot reach all the way across it with just your bare hands. Now, let's make it look a little nicer by adding slabs all around it. You will see that this allows us to be at eye level with the plants. And that's it. Now, when we activate the clock, you will see that flowers will begin to grow and that you can begin harvesting them. Like I said, this is a very simple build. I hope that this has been helpful. Good luck on your quest to 1000 Herbalism. It is a very useful NCMMO skill. Thanks for watching.